let's pay a little bit more attention into the pump around system in a column. So we got this diagram right here. So you can see crude oil, which is technically a mixture of liquid and vapor. Remember that this comes from the furnace and it has a heat exchanger system, the salting system and heat exchanger system and the direct crude oil. Okay. So the main column that you can see here in this specific example has 45 trays. Secondary columns, which are the side strippers, are these yellow guys right here. Remember that each one of them will have its own steam addition. And of course, we have the NAFTA stabilization system, which is nothing more than removal of gases, which in this example is not present. Removal of NAFTA, which is technically sp spoke as stabilized NAFTA and the reflux. Okay. Then we have three side strippers, uh, stated stripper number one, two, and three. So light ends are essentially kerosene, LGO, and HGO. The main column has two sections. This large section up to here from plate or tray five up to 45 and the flashing section, which is one to four. The flash section is essentially four trays. 41 trays is the flashing zone. The bottoms is mostly residue. The top tower is number 45. Trace number one to four, okay, is residue portion. So right here, you will encounter most of the atmospheric residue, which you already know this will go to some heat exchange network and then to the vacuum unit. But let's pay attention to the more interesting part. Trace five up to 10. This is trace 10, HEO draw off tray. So there are six trays above the flashing zone. Essentially, these six, one, two, three, four, five, six are essentially just for each EO production. So at tray number 10, what we're going to do is draw off product, which is taken out as a liquid. So here is the liquid, HEO, and enters this side stripper with the help of steam. And we have four trays inside this stripper. We're going to pur further purify this product. So the bottom product is going to be essentially HEO product or light straight run HEO. And then we're going to recycle some amount with help of the pump around. The liquid stream is strong. Okay, 12. As you can see here, this will be sent to this tray right here, tray number 12. So what we want to do is to further purify this. So 12 will cool down as it drops. Sorry, will increase in temperature as it drops meaning that the vapors increasing here are going to be uh, increased in temperature. This enables cooling. Sorry, I just want to make clear this. I'm talking about this specific part right here. We have a temperature of tray number 10, and after further heating, we're going to have a high temperature reflux. So this reflux is higher in temperature than tray 11 and 12. Therefore, this will drop and heat down. This enables cooling of the liquid stream stated before, this will be cooling down. This specific stream will cool down and the stream and light ends from the HEO stripper will enter through here. The same is true for the following LGO. So 13 to 22, we're going to be processing LGO. These are 10 trays, so 13 up to 22. This is LGO, essentially purification of LGO. From tray 22, we're going to remove this stated before, bring it to the stripper. We have several uh, trays, steam is going to purify, and then we get this back right here. Okay, to be tray, TPA. Okay, this is exactly the same, but different trays. And once again, this will be pretty similar. Let's talk about now 24, which is one right here up to 34, which is kerosene draw off. What we're going to do is once again, we're going to remove this part right here. We have four trays. We add heat and we reflux this part right here and the kerosene. Finally, 34 to 45, so this is 34 to 45, will be essentially the liquefied petroleum gases, light gases and naphtha. So this is very important because this is most of the gasoline and actually this will be about 45% of the barrel. So let's pay attention to this. In trade 34, 
we're going to have both LGO and NAFTA processing zones. So this is a very important part. There is no pump around associated to the train number 34. As you can see here, we have one, we have two. And actually, we do have, but it is not directly related here. Where pump around is associated, that tray is often ignored in the counting as it is affecting to a large extent the tray hydraulics and contributes less towards the separation of the components. So in this specific case, we are not going to assume that. Note that the steam enters main column in number one, which is here, steam number one, number 11. So this is the part right here, 23 and 35. So this is important to ensure that steam is entering here. This steam is balancing the whole column balances both heat and via mass or volume. Finally, the cold naphtha stream is obtained from the phase separator. So actually we get hot naphtha, we cool it down, we condense waters, we get off the gases, and we get the stabilized naphtha as final product and as a recycling stream.